Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we're going to see how to insert a node after a given element in a linked list. So the process or algorithm is going to be pretty much like uh, insert at position function with few changes. So this time, the algorithm is going to accept a target value after which we want to insert the new item. And also, we will accept a data to insert it after the target value. Say the user want to insert number 100 after uh, number 40 so the target value is going to be 40 and the user want to insert number 100 so what we're gonna do as usual we will create a new node having number 100 uh, initially the new nodes uh, next pointer is point, uh, pointing to null let's call it new node uh, say this new node is having a memory address of 200 so what we are going to do initially first we have to make this new nodes next pointer point to this node then we will make this node the target node to point to new node okay uh, we are not going to make the target node first as we saw in the previous video if we make this node point here first then we are going to lose this uh, uh, connection and we don't know how to uh, connect this new node back to the rest of the list if we do that we will lose connection to the list of uh, the rest of the items in the link list so it's important to first set the new nodes uh, pointer to point to this node then we can set this uh, connection so as usual uh, i'm going to uh, create a temp pointer initially pointing to the head node and using this temp pointer i loop or traverse over the link list I will check until I have not found the target value in my linked list which is 40 I keep looping looping or until I have not reached at the end of linked list if the target value is not present uh, in the linked list I will check until I have not reached at the end of linked list if I loop through all the way up to end of the linked list and if I didn't find the target value then I can prompt the user saying that the target value is not present in the linked list so let's do that uh, let's uh, first uh, create a temp node initially uh, pointing to head so I'm gonna say node uh, temp equal to head then using uh, a while loop I keep moving the temp pointer until I either find uh, the target value or either I reach at the end of link list so until I haven't found or I haven't reached the end of the link list uh, I keep looping while uh, temp not equal to null until I haven't reached end of the link list and at the same time I check and temp dot data not equal to target okay this is target until this condition is true I keep looping and I uh, increment my temp pointer so initially temp is point pointing to the head so temp is going to store address 600 I check if temp is not equal to null temp is not equal to null the condition is true I also check if temp.data is not equal to the target yes temp.data is 10 10 is not equal to 40 uh, the condition is true we go inside the loop and inside the while loop I just increment my temp pointer by saying temp equal to temp dot next temp dot next so uh, if I say temp dot next so temp dot next stores a memory address 100 uh, so this time uh, temp pointer is going to store a memory address 100 instead of 600 and temp is going to point to this location again I check if temp is equal to not equal to null temp is not equal to null because temp stores memory under address 600 also check if temp dot data is not equal to target uh, temp dot data which is 20 is not equal to 40 yes condition is true we go inside the loop uh, and we increment the, uh, the temp pointer next time temp is going to point here and temp is going to store number 45 or memory address 45 uh, again the condition is true temp is uh, next time going to point uh, to the next location or this uh, node uh, this time temp is going to store memory 900 uh, so we check if uh, temp is not equal to null yes temp is not equal to null condition is true uh, we again check if temp.data is not equal to target value we check temp.data which is 40 40 is not equal to 
40 yes it is equal to 40 condition is false then uh, we get out of the loop and we got a pointer at location where we want to insert our uh, new item okay so right now we got out of the loop and our temp pointer is pointing to this location temp and temp stores memory address 900 so using this temp pointer we can easily insert this newly created node after this temp pointer so let's do that as I said first we are going to build this uh, connection we will make a uh, new nodes uh, pointer to point to a node having memory address 400 where I can get the 400 from I can get the four memory address 400 from temps dot next because temp is pointing here temp dot next is pointing to memory address 400 so I will say a new node dot next a new node dot next equal to temp dot next this way I set uh, this uh, connection so this uh, new node is going to point to this node then I'm going to can I, uh, make uh, this temp node or this node having number 40 uh, and instead of pointing to this 400 I will make it point to the 200 to do that I can say temp dot next equal to new node temp dot next equal to new node so uh, after this uh, statement so temp.next is going to store memory address 200 so this way I can insert uh, the given uh, node uh, after the target value say so the user want to insert uh, after a target value which is not present in, in our link list say the user enters number uh, 148 148 is not present in our link list so we go all the way to uh, to end of the list and, and uh, at the end our temp pointer is going to point here temp pointer is going to point to this node's next value which is null so temp at the end is going to be null uh, we will check if temp is not equal to null if we didn't find the target value temp will become null the condition is true we get out of the loop uh, but here if we want to access temp.next temp, uh, temp is null null.next doesn't make sense because temp is not pointing to anywhere we will get a null pointer exception here uh, to prevent this null pointer exception we gotta put an f statement here if uh, temp is not equal to null uh, temp not equal to null uh, and if uh, and if uh, temp.data we also going to check if temp.data equal to equal to uh, target if temp.data is equal to target we uh, insert that otherwise in the else block uh, we are going to prompt the user we didn't find the uh, the value or the target value so let's go uh, in the IDE and write the code for insert after uh, function so I'm going to define a function public this function is not going to return anything let's call it insert uh, after uh, this is going to take end data and also end uh, target after which we want to insert uh, first we are going to create a new node with the data so node new node equal to new node then we are going to maintain a temp pointer initially pointing to head so node uh, temp equal to head so we check while a temp pointer is not equal to null while temp not equal to null at the same time we check uh, until we haven't reached the end of the length list or until we have not found the target value temp dot data not equal to target we keep uh, moving this is target sorry uh, we keep moving moving by saying temp equal to temp dot next if we found it then we are going to check if temp is not equal to null if temp is equal to null means we have reached end of the list and we didn't find it uh, we didn't find the the node or the target node so we are just going to prompt the user see out uh, a target was not found or something like this uh, if we found the target if, if the temp is not null 
and we uh, are also going to check if uh, temp uh, dot data equal to equal to target means we have found the the position to insert then we can easily insert by saying new node a uh, new node dot next equal to temp dot next uh, Temp dot next. Then we say uh, temp dot next equal to new node. Temp dot next equal to new node. That uh, this way we can insert uh, a fun, uh, uh, a data after a given target value. So once we insert, we are uh, also going to increment our len function uh, to. So let's check our insert after. So say I have. Uh, 10, uh, 20, uh, four, uh, 30, 40, 50. So I want to insert number 100 after number 10. Uh, List.insert after. Say so I want to insert 100 after uh, number 20. Um, I can do that after 20. I inserted number uh, 100. Say so I want to insert 100 after number. 50 at the end of the length list I should be able to do that okay 100 is inserted but if I want to insert after 500 which 500 is not present in our length list so we should give target was not found awesome so this way we can insert a node after a given target value thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video bye bye